All right, Cancer, what's up? How you doing? This is Galactic Hood Buddha with your March 2020 reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it does not fit, it's cool. There's still more readers out there for you. You guys hear any noise? I have two dogs and I live in Harlem, so you might hear some construction happening. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Thank you for the donations. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you, and let's get right into it. Dear angels and archangels, we have cancer for their March 2020 reading. For their March 2020 reading, what chakra should they be looking out for to help them move forward in this month? Cancer. Third eye. Okay. I think Taurus got third eye, too. What element, what element should they be looking out for? What element should they be looking out for? Fire. You don't have enough passion. What's going on, Cancer? Dear angels and archangels, providing Cancer with a beautiful advice on how to move forward for March 2020. For March 2020. Bison. Chakra clearing. All right. Dear angels and archangels, what messages do you have for cancer? What messages do you have for cancer? Any information that you need will be in the description box below. I love you guys. I love you. Any messages for cancer? Y'all got me shuffling more than I need to. All right. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you. So, what messages are being said to you at this time you're actually i see a lot of purple so i'm seeing that there's a lot of um clearing that's happening for you right now especially with the chakra clearing this archangel Metatron is saying call upon me to clear and open up your chakras using sacred geometric shapes if some of you guys do not know what chakras are those are pretty much the spinning wheel within your system that allows you to move forward when it comes to your compassion, the way you speak, how confident you are, your ability to be creative, how to build your foundation. This all has to do with the chakras. So right now what you're being asked is to, if you guys are not into healing as of yet, just um, take time out to review your life and what does your foundation look like are you being creative enough are you confident enough to speak what you want to speak out into existence right now with the third eye they're asking you to visualize visualize where you want to be build the courage you know when it comes to fire the element fire fire is being impulsive right now um you are more um in your feminine side so what does that mean M masculine and feminine energy right now you don't have the energy to pretty much work you don't have the energy to work right when it comes to masculine you think about logic you think about um industries you just think about um money stability so right now you are figuring out where is it that you want to be stable at who is it that you want in your life and right now you just you, you, basically pretty much your fire is dimmed at this time again and this definitely has to do with when it comes to career um the knight of coins in reverse this is somebody an uh, no, upright position that is ready to start being an entrepreneur and moving forward but in reverse right now you just right now every 
Aries. I'm saying Aries because Aries season is coming up and I've seen this right here. So this could be that you are still using the Pisces energy to just be in your meditative state and figuring out where is it that you want to go because there is a place that you want to leave. With the Seven of Wands, you really want to leave this institution. You may be wanting to move from your home. You may be wanting to just pretty much leave from a specific place um and just leave everything behind you might even want to go on vacation some of you may be going on vacation within the next two months to allow yourself to figure out what is it that you want um you do um some of you i'm getting that you got some anxiety attacks or panic attacks with this um just really pretty much just overthinking things at times and just giving yourself this panic attack and again Guys are just coming from a space of figuring out what are your next steps. Because what are your next steps? You may have been feeling trapped for quite some time right now. So rebuilding yourself. That's what I'm getting in my head right now. You are rebuilding yourself. We're not going to take that. Because we didn't even say anything. Dear angels and archangels, please clarify the queen of wands. Please clarify the queen of wands. Page of Cups, um, not having a passion to um, to pretty much, with this is um, with the blue, peace. Not having peace in relationship, not having peace in your home. not So you want to be able to move away from this energy because right now you're feeling like you're absorbing everybody's energy and you're not finding peace in your own stability. And this is why you have this energy of wanting to move away, of wanting to clear things up, of wanting to build a new vision. Oh, look, talking about Pisces. Yeah, right now you're still using the Pisces energy and the Neptune energy has you pretty much, um, the planet Neptune has you in somewhat of a gaze and a, um, an illusion right now. So you are really trying to figure it out. Um, where, where is it that you want to go? Dear angels and archangels, please clarify the moon card. Feeling like, you know, the, again, like I said, the disillusion, there's a, a lot of disillusions happening right now when it comes to work, when it comes to relationships, when it even comes, I'm hearing kids, some of your kids are maybe lying to you and you're tired of it, with your page of pentacles and the moon, trying to figure out where is it that you want to find stability, where is it that you want to start this new beginning when it comes to your passion of work uh, and your and your passion with who you want to be in your life and how you both going to build this foundation with the snake here is just new knowledge. You're getting new knowledge and messages with these birds from your guides, your angels, your guardian angels, whoever it is that you believe in to be able to move forward and start this new beginning by letting a lot of these things go and just allowing yourself to rebuild your passion and finding out what's your foundation. Please clarify the Knight of Coins. Please clarify the Knight of Coins. The Knight of Coins, um, it also talks about, um, some of you guys may have thought of this career or job as something that was fruitful, and now you're starting to see that it wasn't what you thought it was, there's a lot of betrayal at your work, at your job, and you're just pretty much tired of it, and this is, again, why this whole change is happening, and others of you, you put your all into a relationship, and you understand it right now that this is not working out for you, might have found out that in this relationship, this person was not being truthful, they could have been um, cheating, and if not cheating, they could have just, like, been cheating out, you out of your time, cheating you out of your compassion, they could have been also trying to take your money, but you kind of figure that that they were just with you for the money, that's not for everybody, that's for some of you guys, alright, so... The overall message here for you, Cancer, is just to allow yourself to sit, be peaceful with yourself, with your spirit. What is your compassion? What is your love? Where is it that you want to go? Who is it that you want to share it with? And letting go of all of this pain and hurt and pushing it to the back burner, allowing yourself to know what foundation you want, how creative you're going to be, how confident you're going to be, how much soul you're going to put into it, how you're going to project it out into the world. I love you guys. Take care. Have a blessed, blessed month, and I'll see you guys in April.